Most accidents involving high voltage result in burns in the hands and feet, the extremities being the exit point for the current. But let that be a lesson in preconceived notions about symptoms. There's always exceptions. For some reason, you were left with no burn marks. However, the current used your hands and feet as its escape route, so you'll probably have nerve damage in all four extremities. Permanent? Not necessarily, but you should prepare yourself for the very real possibility that you won't be returning to surgery. Murphy, can we have some privacy, please? No, he can stay. He's been taking good care of me. Interesting, considering you aren't on his rounds. Uh, well... Emily, your bedside manner is equal only to your sense of style. Hardy har. Let's keep this doctor to doctor in front of the intern, please. Doctor. So, no surgery. Maybe, but the board wanted me to make it known that there will be a place for you when you want to come back to work. As a GP, nurse, maybe. We'll see. Yeah. Good times. Well, I have to go, but I'm still your doctor, so I'll be back to annoy you frequently. I'd hug you, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Later. Okay, I have to officially lodge my complaint against you leaving AMA. You need another week here at least. You said yourself that my hands are articulating much better than I expected. You need to keep your physical activities to a minimum. Those fatigue spells are only going to get worse if you push it, and there's still a chance of blood clots. Yes, Mom. Laugh it up, but you need to stay off your feet. Hey, lay there. Ah, my nurse. Oh, Billy. Oh. <laughs> Look at you. This is going to be like some kind of Twilight Zone version of whatever happened to Baby Jay. Emily, meet Carol. Carol, Emily. Nice to meet you. Please make sure he takes it easy. Oh, no problem. We'll just tie him down to the bed, Mommy Dear style. Uh -huh. Carol's a big movie fan. Only the ones with crazy white women in them. And on that note, I'm off. Listen, I'm serious. I want you to call me every day. No fucking around. Okay, promise. Come on, Miss Lazy. <laughs> something to drink so you don't have to get it. No, no, no. Just put the phone by me in case I need to call you for anything. Phone. 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 This place is going to swallow you whole. Seriously. How is it you can put people back together, but you can't turn that fire trap into the bookcase it's supposed to be? White guilt? Nice. You sure you don't want me to stay? No, no, no. It's, I'll be fine. I just need to rest. You know, I hate leaving you here like this. attentive during my stay here at the bedpan hotel what gives uh, well let's just say i have more than a passing interest in your recovery do tell in time so your chart's looking good Are you uh feeling well enough to talk Two years ago, I was out with a group of friends. It's my first two days off in a row in over three weeks. I hadn't seen my boyfriend in ages, so he and my friends decided to drag me up to the mountains, you know, spend a day up Big Bear. So we're out there, 
out in the middle of nowhere on this tiny road that leads to uh, an overlook area. So we decided to get out, take a look around. Mark and I are leaning up against the guardrail, kind of making out a little bit. And the others are all lying on a car, looking up at the stars, smoking pot. Mark decides to run up to the car to grab a beer. And that's all I remember. What, you're blacked out? I woke up in an ambulance. Someone was administering CPR. All the hair on my head was burned off. Fingernails gone. Um, felt like somebody had beat me with a baseball bat. <laughs> and all the others were dead. What happened? Human lightning rod. We're at the highest point in Big Bear. Makes sense. Anyway, after that, life became very different for me, as I'm sure it will for you. This is for you. Go on. It's for people like us. What do you mean, people like us? When you get out of here, which should be soon. Just come check it out. I think you'll like it. Um, <laughs> I'm not very big on support groups. Good. Because this is an AA. Listen. We're very selective about who we ask to join. If I'm right about you, and I really think I am, you'll get out of here and you'll realize that you need something. You won't know what it is, but you'll know it's missing. Now, when you've tried everything else, try this. Okay, I'm out of here for vacation. Far, far away from anything that smells like alcohol swab. So, I won't see you for a couple of weeks, but the next meeting is in three. So, you should come check it out. Maybe. <laughs> Why don't you just give me your number and then we'll go out for coffee or something. If you want to see me, come to the meeting. I'll be there.
This motherfucker better have a good excuse for making us worry like this. Maybe he's afraid of your bedside manner. I sort of want him not to answer. I have always wanted a reason to kick down a door. Hey, guys. Hmm. That's it? Hey, guys. You haven't answered your phone for a week. Uh, no, I, I'm sorry. I've just been so exhausted and busy. Exhausted and busy. I, I wanted to get some cleaning done and get organized. I started to do this dusting, and all of a sudden I got all the sandwiches. Dusting? You. Welcome to Stepford. Step fag is more like it. Are you hungry? We thought you'd like some dinner. I am kind of hungry, all of a sudden. Well, you go get yourself into a shower, a silkwood shower, by the looks and smells of you, and we'll get food started. Out of the way, stinkbot. Okay, make yourself at home. I'll be right out. Holy shit. Okay. These are all labeled. Leftovers in the fridge. Extra stuff like this soup in the freezer. Well, don't get too excited. We only cooked all afternoon. I'm sorry. I just got hit by the bus. You still tired? Yeah, I can barely move. But that's good. I had some energy today, so that means I'm on the mat. Well, good. We'll get out of here. You ready in there? Yep. Yeah. Get some rest. Mm. And don't fucking not call us next time. That's a double negative, but you know what I mean. Got it, Brutus. Damn right. this number you found us next meetings tonight eight o'clock 3536 alexandra court dress for a night out
idea. Welcome. Thanks, I think. Uh, we hug here. I think there's one face here that you might recognize. I'm glad you could make it. You won't be disappointed. Cheers. We have a new member. Welcome, Bill. We'll get to the good stuff in a minute, but a new member means introduction, so who wants to go first? I'll go. I'm Joanna. My life changed a year ago at a rave in the middle of fucking nowhere. I'm Kennedy. My life changed two years ago on a hiking trip back, you know, in the homeland. Tanika, my life changed almost eight months, three days ago on top of the tallest building in Denver, Colorado. My name is Shelley. My life changed about a year and a half ago on a yoga retreat in Machu Picchu. My life changed three years ago on a telephone pole. My life changed on a trip to Big Bear. The sky was fucking clear for miles. It was pouring rain. The forecast was drizzle. It was partly cloudy. The moon was huge. It was windy, but mostly clear. It was night, so I couldn't really tell. I still don't remember anything for about an hour before it hit, and for like the next 12 hours after. I had this hole burned in my shirt, and my shoes were 50 feet away. It was stupid to be up there, but the client thought that it would be exciting. Later he told me if it weren't for the railings all around the roof, I would have taken a 40-story trip straight down. If you go to that temple, there's still a burn mark where my hand was touching the stone. I broke up my ribs when I hit the ground, but other than that, I was fine. And for a month afterwards, I couldn't even get out of bed. I mean, I'm a lazy person, but this was really bad. I didn't want to eat, but I was starving. My body felt like it did after running a marathon. It wanted something. I could feel it. But it sure wasn't Gatorade. One day, while I was lying there, I saw an empty wall socket, no plug. And I just stared at it for like an hour. It was like I wanted to fall into it. I didn't want to kill myself, so I went out and bought one of those cattle prod things you can get at the sex shops. And I shocked myself. And it felt exquisite. And I felt totally ashamed. Until I found this. And my life became perfect. Cheeseburgers and real coke. Ugh. Grease and sugar. Yeah, that's over. 
Hey, you have to keep your body in good shape from now on. Not that it looks too bad from here. <laughs> Doesn't feel so good. And no more hangovers. At least not from alcohol or drugs. It's too early for cryptic. What happened? Last night? I can't remember anything from walking into that loft until now. And I was a little fuzzy as well, to be honest. Well, do you remember the circle? One, two, three. usually meet about twice a month. Some people can't make it, and uh, last night we were missing a couple people. You'll find you want to make time. And honestly, you don't need the group. But at this point, you only have a learner's permit. You need a fully licensed adult with you at all times. I'm suddenly starving. That's normal. Just keep it organic. Need a strong vessel to play with the big boys. Did we do anything last night? Other than have an amazingly mind-blowing time? <laughs> no. Not unless you consider sleeping with my arm around your waist anything. Well, oh, such a gentleman. I wonder if you remember it. There's a speed limit in this town, mister. <laughs> so who? You need a rest. And I need to get to the hospital. Mm, more recruits? Round, smart guy. I'd advise you to just rest today. Just let yourself be... Okay? I wouldn't tell your friends about all this. At least, not yet. Okay? Just let yourself live the life while so you can understand what it's all about. Yes, doctor. <laughs> I can't believe you're letting him participate in our secret shame. <laughs> Clipping coupons? Are you kidding me? How do you think we're going to afford Truckzilla that you picked out last week? <laughs> I got no shame about saving money. I promise I won't blow your cover with the rich lesbians. <laughs> Besides, it gives me something to do with my hands. Any bored? Oh, I'm getting there. I want to get back to surgery, but Emily wants me to wait a couple more weeks. Mm. Dude, you just need to cut it out of the paper. This ain't detail work. 
I like the edges to be either. Well, you look about a thousand percent better. Madge, what is your secret? Well, I met a boy. What? Where? In the hospital. He's an intern. So he really is a boy. <laughs> mm. What well, was he giving you sponge baths and it turned into love? <laughs> well. Ugh, isn't that like your dentist touching you in your bikini zone while you're under? Stop making it dirty. Have you banged him? Oh. Nice. No, not really. Huh. Oh my. Am I wrong? Yes. Yeah. All we did was sleep together. Yeah. Huh? Sleep. Right. So, what's he like? He's handsome. He's smart. He's gentle. He's done a few things I haven't done before. Uh huh. Mm. Details, please. Well, I can't. What? Oh, come on. No, it's private. No, uh -uh. I can't. No. You cannot dangle that carrot and not pay it off. I can't. Okay, I'll trade you. Mm. Carol and me? Oh, boy. Sometimes I'm not the top. Oh, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, but I will. Okay, I promise. After it gets normal, a little better. No. Okay, I'm holding you to that. Click the coupons. Hello? Hey. Hey, kiddo. It's nice to hear your voice. Yeah, you too. How's it going? Uh, hang on a second. Let me put you on speakerphone. So how's it going? Is Dr. Anderson kicking your ass properly? Uh, hourly. I think she wears special boots for it. Believe it or not, she is not a lesbian. I won't believe it. So, I'm off for the meeting in a couple days. You want me to pick you up on the way? Well... That's kind of why I was calling. Uh-oh. I hear some cold feet. <laughs> I just, um... I don't like the fact that I don't remember any of it. And I don't like lying to my friends either, which is what I did yesterday. For the first time in a long time. Let me ask you something. Before you went to the meeting, did you feel anything different about yourself? What do you mean? You tell me. Well, I was tired, but I couldn't stop rearranging my house. I started alphabetizing my bookshelves, and when I was done, I began categorizing my pantry by cuisine and country of origin. And now? I've been keeping a pretty tight ship over the last couple days. Order. You crave order. Your body craved order after the accident. We all do. That's not bad. Look at nature. So you're a doctor. Look at the human body. Look at DNA, at, at the food chain, evolution. It's the existence. It's constantly trying to revise itself in an effort to streamline. <laughs> and what does this have to do with that generator Mike keeps in his apartment? Energy is pure order. Your brain produces electricity, and now it craves more. My body produces blood, but it doesn't crave infusions every two weeks. Hypothetical question. Could you run a marathon today? Of course not. Could you, in, say, six months after training, gradually work your way up to 26.2 miles? Theoretically, yes. Yes your body would have increased its capacity for physical activity, right? A good thing. So what's wrong with increasing your body's capacity for order? He came back. Congratulations. Some don't. Then I found the card that Murphy gave me in the hospital. And, um, well, he's, you all saw what I looked like when I finally got here, so. <laughs> what? I think our newbie's got a Jones on. <laughs> <laughs> 
makes it that obvious. <laughs> Let's move the chairs. Here we go. One, two, three. Well, I'm ready to go. He looks better than the last time you dragged him in here. I feel better. Let's go. Mm, easy there, Mario and Dreddy. You go in when I say you go in. If I say you go in. It's his second time. He's just excited. All right. Go on in. patient who obviously has a case of acid reflux? Do you know how busy I am? What is going on here? Uh, one of your genius students here decided he wanted a consult for a severe case of tummy ache. Well, how about we discuss this outside, as in not in front of the patient? I've got a rose.
handsome this afternoon? Yeah, dig the scrubs, huh? Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> so, word on the street is you bit Sullivan's head off. Oh, the intern? Yes, the intern. Much like another intern who you wouldn't raise a hand to because he's working on way too low sleep and way too much stress. Yeah, I kind of went off on him. That kid's going to make a lousy doctor. You could apologize. Uh, no. You know, it's all about pecking order. You know that as well as I do. Okay, how about this? How about I just spread the rumor that you feel bad about it? Then you don't actually have to say anything. Perfect. What? Come here. Come here. Just do it. The other interns see this, I'm dead. The other doctors see this, you're dead. <laughs> oh, what have you been doing? Quiet intern. Now get out before I have you thrown out. You're a cruel man, Dr. Matthews. Can I trouble you for some more suction, or would you rather have the patient drown in her own blood? Yes, doctor. Jesus, watch it. Sorry. Save sorry, just pull your head out. Dr. Matthews, perhaps you'd like me to take over for you? You are an hour two. No, Dr. Anderson, I would not. This is not a football game. We don't pass off when it gets tough. Noted, Dr. Matthews. What? Something's wrong with the cart. It won't hold a charge. Get your ass to the operation theater and get a new cart in here. Fuck it. I'll do it manually. I thought you said she was an arrest. She was. It was flatlined. Well, sure as hell is it now. As soon as you touched her heart, this thing jumped a mile high. Ladies, gentlemen. Yes, we have an operation to finish here. If I can have your attention for a few moments more. I gotta be careful because I've been juicing up on the job. For an electrician, it sort of feels like a bartender drinking behind the bar. <laughs> Anyone else try that? I just get so down, you know? Even when I'm crashing, I still feel. I can't even think of the word. Satisfied. Yeah. On the way down, it still feels good. Yeah. A sense of accomplishment. Yes. Well, I think I speak for all the vets when I say, keep an eye on it. I mean, it's, it's a treat, it's dessert, but it's not the main course. Hey, has anyone ever noticed a difference when it comes from different sources? Mm -hmm. Totally! This mm. feels different than a plug socket. More organic or something. More true. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah. More perfect. Yes. Well, I think we're about out of time, Bill. Sure. Bill has a very generous gift for all of us. It was nothing. Who wants to go first? It's a circuit just like you set up in a house. Which I know nothing about. So I need you to consult. Do you think you can get me the parts? Parts are easy. Shit, you can get the parts at any hardware store. Okay, well, will you help me? I mean, I think the group would really appreciate it. And if it works, it would make things a lot easier on a day-to-day -day basis. At work. Because the positives together. Yeah. Yeah, I guess, and the negatives too. And then cover the uh, connections with the electrician's tape or... Plastic caps. Surgical pen. As long as it doesn't conduct crap. Should I be jealous? Oh, hey, Murphy. Hey, Alex. Nice to see you outside of the meeting. 
Hey there, Mr. Allwork. Uh, we both know that's not true. <laughs> So what are you two boys doing? Is that surgical simulator software? <laughs> nice little alliteration. Yeah, I borrowed it from the library at work. Huh. And just what are you two boys simulating? Something more organic than shoving forks into light sockets. Something more orderly. I think this will work. You're the doctor. Wait, is that? It's simple. I think I figured out how to do it. My medical career if anyone walks in here. Yeah, mine too. You're already a doctor. You'll just get fired. I'll lose my internship. Are you going to help me out with this or not? Because we don't have time for a one-man show about your future. Really? Maybe I'll just go perform it someplace else. All right, all right. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm nervous. Yeah, apparently so. Okay, I apologize, all right? I'll make it up to you in spades. But we got to get out of here or we're going to get caught. Okay. All right, yeah, I'm sorry. All right. Put your arm here. And you gotta pay attention. Because after you've healed for a couple days, you're gonna do the same thing to me. Okay? What do I do? Just make sure I'm doing it right.
I gotta get some breakfast food. Juice stuff. Right now? It's four o'clock in the morning. I know, I know, I know, but if I don't do it now, I'm gonna be thinking about the empty space in the covers here. Alright. I'll be back, okay? Okay. It'll only take 30 minutes. Okay. I'm gonna go to the mini mart and I'm gonna work off some of this energy. Be careful. I always think you're Superman after a meeting. I don't want you getting into trouble. Back with what? <laughs> Crazy. Okay. You fucking murdered us, okay? What do you got, huh? Well, you better fucking have something, I'm gonna fucking kill you! Oh, wait, 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 I'll get it, okay? Right, I'll give you everything. Just let me keep my ID. Quick fuckers. We got better things to do. Okay. That's it. Whoa. That's what I mean. He's hilarious. I'll save the next one for dessert. Dessert's more of an NC-17 course than dinner. <laughs> yeah, about dessert. Don't tell me there's not dessert. No, no, there is. It's just that it didn't turn out so great. What do you mean? It's perfect. No, it's not perfect. And this is important. I wanted it to be great. So? Dessert's dessert. Bring it on. Bill, it'll be fine. I know, I know. I've just been yeah. so... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Meaning? Nothing. You've just gotten a little meticulous lately. Look at this place. Not that it doesn't totally suit you. You obviously have a positive influence in your life these days. Ew, kissing. All right, I have to use the restroom. Murphy, would you mind bringing out the dessert? Sure. Be kind. Shut up.
Oh, hey, did you hear about the murder down the street? Okay, remember how we weren't going to bring that up? This is a big people dinner. What? I'm just asking. What, what murder? A homeless guy was like off and tossed in the bushes like a few blocks from here. When was this? Uh, three nights ago or two. I saw the cops poking around there the other day, but no idea it was a murder. It was in the news. What was on the news? Your shitty disaster of a pie is all. You really expect me to eat this? Yeah, I expect you to eat it with a fucking smile on your face. Oh, <laughs> you are a good influence. Huh? I like her and Olivia. They make me laugh. Except I think they're lesbians. Oh. Wouldn't surprise me. Uh, they told me about the murder. That guy down the street. Eddie Jameson. You know his name? I think they said it on the news. Huh. Well, Colonel Olivia couldn't seem to remember what day it was. I think it was three days ago. Really? They seemed to think it was two days ago. Really? Yeah, which would have made that the same night that you went out for breakfast supplies. If it was two days ago, yes, but I think it was three days ago. Hmm. Is that what they said on the news? Look, I can't remember, okay. Why did you say anything? Well... It happened a while ago. It didn't seem important. Bill, come on. Whenever anything gruesome happens in the news, people fall all over themselves trying to connect themselves to it. Oh, I know a guy who lives right by where those guys buried those bodies in the basement. And you don't even mention a murder that happened blocks from your own house. So I'm not a fan of the macabre. What about it? I don't think that's why you didn't say anything. <laughs> really? Yes, really. In fact, I know why you didn't say anything. Do tell. You didn't want me to worry about you walking all over the neighborhood at night, which is stupid because contrary to your anecdotal evidence, you're not invincible. Jesus. What? That could have been you out there that night. You'd be dead, and then I'd have to live with that for the rest of my life would, because you think you're bulletproof. Would you stop? Would you? All right, I know, I know. You think I'm being an old woman. Yeah, it just at least make me feel better if you agreed with me. Okay, okay, all right. I'm not just saying it to avoid a fight. It's dangerous to go walking around late at night, and I promise I won't do it in the future. Okay. Really? Okay. After I got out of the hospital, I <laughs> I couldn't do anything. I well, except organize my comic books and fanzines by category, you know, music, film, or live action role playing. Then by title, then by issue number, then by my favorite illustrator and the character I want to play if I ever, you know, become a superhero. But, you know, that's all I could do was just organize. And then, you know, I did finally do one just by who composed the music, depending on what film it was in. and, and that was harder to do because not all the movies, you know, not all my comic books were made into movies, but, you know, most of them because I have good taste in comics. Thanks, I'm sure.
sure you're well aware. Doctor, I'm well aware. Not a drug. Not bad for the circuit. Uh huh. Just take one of these at instant sleep in 20 minutes. Hmm. For sure. <laughs> Count down to sleep. Alright, I'll take one too. No respect for money. Shit. Gotta be enough here for at least a quarter. A really good blow job. Got his side though, because I gotta find my connection for the weed. Take your pick.
I'm sorry. What are you, 12? Mental strategy is part of the game. Olivia, you know I love you, but I will break this mallet off in your ass if you don't shut up. Fine. I'll use my psychic powers to form a force field around the wicket. You're right. It is relaxing. With her head. I felt like being with civilians again. I miss it. Am I taking up too much of your time? No, of course not. But you are up. Move your gay ass! <laughs> so what's with the BFT? BFT? Big fucking truck. What do you mean? It's part of my heritage. I didn't know they had pickup trucks on Amazon Island. Only if you have four wheel drive, a V8 engine, and a roll bar. Mm. Shit! I hit my ball in the Mishkoff yard. Well, go get it! No way. Old people are mean. I'll be right back. I was actually going to skip the group tonight. I think I need to cut back. But the thing is... I love it so much, I can't stop! <sighs> Bill? Oh, I'm fine. I, I just dozed off. I startled. just got startled. Sorry I'm boring you. But I don't want to interrupt, but... No, I was finished. Uh, Bill, do you have something to share? Bill, we go out and have fun afterwards, but whatever happens here stays here. Uh, you, know, you, you can talk. Business stays in the group. <clears throat> no, I'm fine. Next. We keep our personal life separate from our bedside manner. Okay. <laughs> He's unconscious. I just don't think it's a good idea. Oh, really? Never seemed to bother you before. In fact, I seem to recall you like the danger of it. Well, I've reevaluated the situation. I see. Maybe we should have a talk, after you perk up a bit. Meaning? You know what I mean. <laughs> I'm sorry, you just caught me at a bad time. Yeah, I bet. It's not that. You know, you're soon gonna find out that being a surgeon carries extra bonus gifts, like constant stress, patients dying on you. And performing surgery, amazingly enough. You know, maybe that's the reason I was in a bad mood. Yeah, maybe. <sighs> Murphy, I apologized. I said I'm sorry, so cut me some slack. Apology accepted. What's this? I took melatonin. I knew I wouldn't be able to sleep. Got about five minutes left. And facing away. Mm-hmm.
It's always the highlight of your week. I know, I just don't feel like it. Jesus, Bill, you're sweating. Are you not feeling well? You could go if you want. I'm just gonna take it easy on the couch. I'm gonna make some tea. You don't have to stay. I want the green or the English breakfast? English breakfast. on. Just a little. You'll feel better. You're burning up. That's it. Tea, Tylenol, fit. Multiple knife wounds, critical blood loss. His buddy's right behind me. ER's full. Okay, leave him here with me. You get back to the ER. Go! Unless it was an emergency, that's why they call it an emergency room. Genius. Idiots. Prognosis? The OA. So fast, you just brought him in here. He was on his way out. All right, I'll get a nurse down here so you can call it. <sighs> what? I just, I need time. Did I do something? I just, I've been working extra hours in the ER and I just... And I'm in my internship, Bill, I know. Long hours. I know it's all about falling into bed with each other at two in the morning, but I can handle that. Okay, I, I love you. I'm willing to put up with some inconveniences for a while. I guess I can't. Where's this coming from? I'm very grateful for your friendship. My friendship? And the group. Bill, you're killing me. I don't want to hurt you. Too late. More. I don't want to hurt you more. More than what? Please, I'm begging you. You can't expect me to just walk out of here with that. You haven't said anything. All these words come out of you and you put them together and you had nothing. Vapor. So I'm sorry, but I require more than that before I clean out my drawer. I can't. Yes, you can. You just won't. Why did you pick me? What? Lack of external injury suggests patients a prime candidate. Patients show signs of exceptional healing capacity. Just learn to pick up after yourself, Murphy. Patient, 
You didn't even know my fucking name. So I'm supposed to apologize for not knowing your name the first day that I saw you, Bill? Is that what you're saying? What should I be saying? How about thank you? Get out of my house. I can't have you here. Leave what you want, but just get out! No. Nothing. I just wondered if maybe he said something to either of you two. Maybe he said something that I don't know about. No, but to be honest, we haven't talked to him much lately. Not since he's been getting some. Not that we don't love you. Shit, I'm about to fuck this up, Royal. Why don't you go back to scrubbing, Hazel, before you say something mean? Yes, Mr. B. So we'll finish up here. We'll drive over there and pretend like we don't know what's going on. Maybe you'll talk to us. Thanks. next, okay? Okay. Okay, two minutes. If she ever comes off life support, she'll most likely suffer permanent debilitating oh. brain damage. I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry, Bill. Thank you. like a vegetable. 
tell me that Carol taking care of an invalid is the right choice right now. Wake up, Olivia. <laughs> the guts I'd kill myself. I'm a coward. Thank you, Olivia. She has no idea. Where did you hurt Olivia, Bill? Olivia wasn't hurt. Dr. Anderson made it perfectly clear. Dr. Anderson? Are you at the hospital, Bill? Bill, god damn it, where are you? Just tell me where you're hiding. Why? So you can stop me. No, 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 no. I just... Look, all right, if you're going to do this, I want to say goodbye to you face to face. Everything's a mess. I need to put things in order. Stop me. Bill, god damn it, wait! I haven't said what I need to say to you first! I love you, Mark. Goodbye.